So thank you. As Deputy High Commissioner uh, for Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, I am responsible for all aspects of the UK's bilateral links with the two Telugu speaking states. This includes promoting business links and strengthening scientific partnerships. As you've just heard, India has experienced unprecedented growth over recent years. Issues such as poverty, food insecurity remain. I'm really grateful for Dr. Kumar for setting out very clearly some of the some of the key issues that India still faces. But I am confident that India, working with international partners, can overcome these challenges and fulfil its potential. And this is why it's really important that businesses, academics, and scientists all work together to champion sustainable practices in agriculture, to increase crop yields whilst also protecting the environment, and to, and to improve the lives of those who produce the food we eat. Probably the most critical people in this scenario, farmers themselves and the rural communities they all support. I took up this role just last month and I've already observed the sheer scale and importance of the agricultural sector here in India. Last week I was in Andhra Pradesh, it used to be called, or maybe still is, the, the rice bowl of India. And I was very impressed with what I saw, saw there in terms of what the government is trying to achieve to improve productivity, but also, more importantly, improve the life of farmers. And I'm confident that the UK and India together can help achieve this. The UK has some of the high, most highly regarded agricultural technology sectors in the world. We have three of the top five global universities, and we have hundreds of science and research partners. And we have some of the best data sets relevant for agriculture across the globe. So I'm confident that with our expertise, experience that India has gone through, there are great opportunities for the UK and India to work together to not only improve food security for India, but food security across the globe. Our collaborations are broad and with a good focus on integrating sustainability into economic development. Which is why I think Poly4 is a, is a fantastic example of UK-India collaboration. Two years ago, UK and Indian ministers agreed that the recognition and registration of polyhalite as a, as a naturally occurring fertiliser should be taken forward. By coincidence, at the time, UK Minister who signed that document is now our Prime Minister. As has already been mentioned, trials across India of Poly 4 have demonstrated the potential of Poly 4 to bring more balanced nutrition to Indian crops, increase yield, yields, while supporting our joint objective of sustainable farming practices. We are working with Anglo-American and with Indian agencies and the Indian government to recognise Poly 4's existing British organic certifications, which I certainly hope will help an earlier rollout of Poly 4 here in India. Because there is definitely a bright future ahead for Poly 4 
supporting agricultural producers here in India. Dan has said this could not be possible, any of this could not be possible without strong work between the UK and India. And hopefully before we all break for a cup of tea, I hope that this conference over the next two days is successful, productive, and helps to take forward a program which will focus on more productive, more efficient, and more greener agricultural production in India. Thank you all very much.